In this video, I'm going to share with you how to categorize your data set based on keyword present in description column. On column B, I have the list of description and I have another sheet on which I have the list of keyword and their respective categories. Now I will go to data tab and I will simply type equal search open parenthesis for the fine text. I will simply go to categories tab. I will select A2 and drag my mouse till the end. Simply hit F4 key. To log the reference, hit comma. Now go to data tape again. And here I will simply click on B to cell. Close parenthesis. Hit enter. Now this will return number anywhere the categories are going to match. The next thing we need to click here again. And I will type a very simple formula. Lookup. Open parenthesis. For the lookup value, I will type a bigger number. So in this case, I will simply type 2 power 15. Hit comma. For the lookup value, all of my search result will be considered as a lookup value and I will hit comma at the very end and for the result vector, I will go to category step again. I will select B2 to B58. Now make sure the lookup range must be equal to result vector. I will hit F4 key also to lock the reference, close parenthesis and hit enter. Now you can see we get the required categories. Now I will simply click here and just double click and it will return all of the category for this description based on category list. Of course, we can apply this simple formula in Google Sheet. If I just copy this whole formula, hit Ctrl C. I will go to Google Sheet. I have the same Google Sheet. I will simply double click on D2. Control V to paste the formula and hit enter. Oh, this is not returning the result while my formula is same. So what we need to do? In this case, I will simply click on the formula bar and simply type Control Shift Enter. You can manually write the array formula as well. But in this case, I will simply type array formula using Control Shift Enter. And now if I hit enter, this will return me the result. And of course, I want to take the suggestion this time. Now I will go to Excel sheet again and I will share a bonus tip with you. If you want this formula to a single cell formula, the first thing I will copy this whole function. Hit Ctrl C. I will write the new function here. I will simply type by row. By row function actually loop through row by row and perform action. What is the array? In this case, I will define this whole range as the array. I will simply click on B2, hit Control Shift down arrow key, Control Backspace key to move to the Ecto cell again, hit F4 key to lock the reference, hit comma. For the function, I will simply type lambda, open parenthesis. For the parameter, I will simply define as the X, hit comma. And for parameter or calculation, I will simply hit Control V to paste my whole formula and close bracket. Now, instead of data B2, I will simply remove this one because this is referencing this cell and we don't need to reference a range like this one since we already defined B2 to B120 is our range. I will simply type X now and I will close the parenthesis one more time and hit enter and this will return the same result. But now our formula is only on E2 cell. Of course, we can do the same logic in Google Sheet. If I switch to Google Sheet again, and I will simply type on E2 cell by row function, open parenthesis. For the array or range, I will simply type, let's say, B2 to B120, hit comma, lambda, open parenthesis. For the name, I will simply define X. For the formula or expression, I will paste the same lookup result. And instead of data B2, I will simply remove this one and I will type X here. Close parenthesis for lambda function, close parenthesis for by row function, hit enter. And this will return the result. But of course, we need to type control shift enter and hit enter. Now you can see our formula is working fine. And this is the beauty of array formula. I hope you learned something useful from this video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have anything else, please write in comment. Thank you so much.